Uh, yes, we'd like to play first. This is M12. And it sucks we can't cast War Horse, but I guess there's a decent chance we drop planes. And even if we don't, I think this is an acceptable hand. Sentinel and Oblivion. Oh, did I mention? Oh, okay. I just almost forgot plant land. Did I mention we only have to be stingy with our O-rings? Because we have three of them. Yeah. You're going to have to be pretty aggressive, bro. Because we got some serious game. Of course, we get another island. <laughs> uh, well, I guess nothing else happens. We still drop Griffin Sentinel. Maybe we did want to run 11-6. I don't know. That's fine. Although, as in our last draft, that actually can be fairly good. Uh, who would I rather... Uh, let's drop Sentinel first, actually. Because it eats his Tunneler if he wants to attack with that. And I can attack and then still block, so good way to start beating down. Then we can drop Lawkeeper. Unless it's something we want to O-ring, if it's that scary. What's going on? No. Call that less than O-ringable, and you have a... Uh, that's a two for one now. Maybe we do want to O-ring that. Eternally, we could just tap it down turn after turn. Which I think might be better. Wow, Archon. Sure, even though this locks up our only white. Uh... Let's just start tapping, because we we got to draw some planes sometime. And I don't mind if we take... Most we could take is four here from that. And actually, no, I can just I can trade Griffin Sentinel with it if I want to. Never goes up from one toughness, so... Huh. Yep, that's a card. In which case, I guess we owe him this... Yeah, if he's making it unblockable and then pumping it. That's probably worth O-ringing. Get some two-for-one, so... Like I said, odds are we draw more O-rings, because... We have the triple O-ring deck. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yep. Uh-huh. Be nice to draw some more planes. You. And then we can, like, drop him, and, yep. <sighs> Two for one, bro. See, putting crappy auras on mediocre creatures, it's just, uh, it's not as good as most people think. <laughs> well, I, I, I like this creature, to be fair. Oh no, what now? Huh, that's better than most people think. Obviously, if you have some way to pump toughness, it's pretty nuts, even not. You have a decent chance to use it as removal, so... Ah, more war horses, just not more planes. And no blue cards either. Yeah, though, yeah I don't have five man yet, so... I uh, should be doing that stuff post-combat, but... <laughs> really, what's he expect? Um, I guess he bang chuckers to attempt to kill my Stormfront. Or he goes unblockable with bang chuckers, I don't know. <sighs> His deck doesn't seem too good from what I've seen. He's got Doomblade, obviously. But I think if we can draw some planes, our deck's better. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> you maybe... Okay. Would I... Do I want to trade? No, I think I'll leave that for now. That's fine. Clearly, he wants the trade. Because otherwise, he would have made it unblockable. So I will not help you, sir. There we go. First thing we drop, I think, is this guy. Followed by Sarah Angel, followed by horses. Well, like I said, really should be doing this second main phase, but... Still. Okay, hit beat down for three. Yeah, the flying beat down plan sounds pretty damn good. Maybe Sarah was better first. They're worth four fours, but she's got vigilance. It will. <sighs> yeah, we just. I'd say we drafted a masterpiece. Who are you taking, Archon? 
If you want to race me that bad, that's fine. Actually, why didn't I block there? Because it'd, it'd be nothing would happen. Uh, he has shock, whatever. But as long as he doesn't have fling for my archon. Oh, yeah, what's he got? Shock. Ring flesh. Huh, that's fine. So he's wanting me to play into ring flesh, huh? Take my archon. Do I need to pass with him anything? I don't think so. Let's, well, let's look at the race situation right now. Well, he's doing three at most. I'm doing six this turn. I'm dropping Sarah, so I think we can afford to attack with both. Yeah, because then I'll have another vigilant guy out. Okay. Sarah Angel, get out there, bro. Yeah. Okay, what now? Chandra's Outrage on her. Lightning Elemental. Huh. Do we trade? Maybe we trade, because we are... We can't afford to just... Um, leave it, honestly. Because then we go to... We go to, what, five? And then that's three turns. Although, uh, you know what, maybe we do leave it, and we can just pass with him next turn. Uh, if he has burn, this sucks. Like, if we're walking into a lava axe, we lose, but I think we can do alright here. Okay, so let's pass with him this. Although, lightning elemental really feels like a waste of a pass with him. And then let's get Jace's archives down here. Once again, don't know why I'm doing this all pre-combat, but whatever. So yeah, uh, obviously we want to start dropping stuff because this ability's bad, but he is a bear. What's that, 10? He's at 1. We fear the burn spell and not much else. We got two blockers, so even if he's got a hasty guy. Oh, or we lose... Yeah, we lose. Well, he outplayed me there. Let's see. Yeah, we lose. No way around this one. So that sucked, because I think we can beat him. So let's try and not let that happen again. Double act of treason. I guess that's something to keep in mind. Anything we want to side in? I think we just want to fix our lands. I think we do want 10 and 6, or 11 and 6. I don't know. But I think that should be fine, and I think he submitted instantly, did he? 